Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Tutorials Point with me Richa. Today under the hospitality module we will talk about management in the hospitality industry. Well hospitality industry is so huge and if you want to learn how to be a manager in that this module is something that will be very very beneficial for you. So let us see what is there on the agenda for us. So we will talk about management a new way of thinking. Planning in the hospitality management, organizing in the hospitality management, staffing which is basically to deal with human resources or HR, control in the hospitality management and leadership and directing. So let's get started on this. So what exactly is management a new way of thinking? Well, hospitality management is a part of the service industry which brings more placements and more money than any other industry. Managers in the hospitality industry are trained in business, human resources as well as customer service. So if you are working or want to get to work in a hotel management industry as a manager, it is very important to understand that you will be giving or you will be shown a wide variety of different kind of departments and functions which is a part of hotel industry. Well, planning in the hospitality management works in a different cycle, which is you need to first fulfill the needs, whatever are the needs which are there. You need to declare uh, goals and objectives. You need to have a plan of action or what exactly would your goal be in that particular hotel industry. You need to be aware of that. Doing survey with the existing data, which is already a part of the current hotel industry. How people behave at tourist places, this is again some uh, information or research needs to be conducted on how people behave at different tourist destination when they travel and monitoring of data after the implementation. So that's how you can plan your career as a manager in the hospitality industry. Let's take a look at organizing in the hospitality uh, management. So first you need to have an identification of the activities which is you need to understand how division of work happens because hotel is such a huge place of work wherein there are thousands and thousands of employees working either in the front end or back end. So you need to identify what exactly are the activities and division of work according to those activities. You need to group the activities departmental wise. So it could be, for example, the F&B or food and beverage department, or it could be the housekeeping department or the concierge department, etc. So you need to group similar activities together and form a department. Assigning of activities according to their hierarchy. So if uh, there's a very senior person, he will have some people reporting into him. So you need to understand how activities have to be assigned according to the status, the power as well as the hierarchy in the hotel industry. And then you need to do delegation of authority, which is basically decentralization. Who needs to report into whom and how does the work happen with regards to authority being given out rather than one person having all of the responsibilities and uh, himself. So it's always important to delegate your authority to other people so that work can happen in a smooth process in the hotel. Let's talk about staffing which is your human resources as I mentioned before some time back that hotel is an industry which is huge number of people working in that particular hotel industry as employees. So there is a particular staffing process which needs to happen in any kind of hotel industry or hospitality that you are a part of. First you need to have manpower requirements which is basically uh, understanding what are the kind of people you might need getting all the research work done. Then you need to get recruitment into place. So advertising in different um, uh, Google searches like Monster as well as Nokri.com etc. So getting recruitment into place, selecting the right kind of candidates for the profile that you have. Orientation and placement is very important. You need to give them induction, trying to get them accustomed to what is the kind of organization they are going to be a part of. Training and development goes hand in hand. Any new employee which has joined your hospitality industry needs to be having certain kind of training and development. And you need to find out whether the remuneration is working for them or no. So this is all a part of human resources or staffing the new employees for your particular hotel industry. Let's see control in hospitality management. So basically what we're trying to understand is we need to focus on the guest. 
Hotel in, as well as hospitality is a service oriented industry. All and every focus needs to be on only one person who is the guest or the customer or client into that hotel. Understand the role of guest contact employee. Any person who is interacting with the guest has to be given a lot of training and has to understand his role very, very properly. Weave a service culture into the education and training systems. Everything revolves around hospitality as well as service. So this service culture needs to be put into the hotel uh, environment and everybody needs to know what exactly is expected out of them as a culture of you know, service and thrive on change. Well, uh, change is the only constant in life and if we don't change, we will be stagnant and be where we are a uh, couple of years down the line as well. So try to change as much as you can. Be flexible and adaptable towards change. Now, if you're looking at getting into a managerial lo uh, role in a hospitality industry, you need to have certain direction and leadership qualities. So let us take a look at what these are. So you need to understand yourself as a motivator, as a leader, as a manager, what exactly are you all about. So be self-aware, understand your organization, establish objectives as well as provide direction to the people. As a leader, people are looking up to you as a manager. So hence it becomes important that you give them proper direction. Acknowledge performance. As a leader, it becomes very important to uh, have good words and you know recognize and reward people who are doing very well or who are performing well be flexible and be willing to adapt yourself to different situations and scenarios well leadership and directing has certain ethics so as a leader you need to follow certain uh, you know code of conduct or ethics or values which are have to be as a part of you ingrained into you that's rules and regulations should be something that you abide by because you need to walk the talk as a leader. Only then will people follow you. Values are something that you should have your own morals and principles. Your research has to be completely up to date as well as your moral principles. You need to know whether as a leader you are honest, integral, uh, service oriented or no. Ethical practices, so no cheating or no kind of doing the wrong kind of things. Ethics is what you are doing when no one is watching you and hence it's very important to be honest about it and rules of conduct. You need to have certain rules and regulations and code of conduct in a working environment as a manager or a leader. Hence these are all different ethics that a leader or a manager into a hospitality industry should definitely have else you will be doomed for failure. Well friends, this was our module on management in hospitality management and I do hope you have enjoyed and really liked this video. Please make sure that you like us and subscribe us. Do keep watching more videos coming your way. Thank you very much.